going to talk about uh, our brand new design which is called Starstruck. It's designed for all your favourite stretch knit fabrics, uh, particularly those ones with drape. They're going to work the best in this design. So let's have a chat about the style. There are seven different sleeve options. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Okay, this is the long slimline sleeve. So it's not tight, it's semi-fitted as you can see. Um, you can add a cuff to this sleeve or you can cut it up at three quarter length, totally up to you. Uh, there is an easy fit short sleeve. Um, it's a different base to this one so the sleeve is not as fitted through the shoulder. Um, it's just nice and easy. And the beauty about that is that you can also add it to some of my other patterns. Um, what else? Okay, we have the most feminine sleeve I think that we have ever done. We've done flounces before at Pattern Emporium, but this is probably the most feminine flounce that we've done. It's a full circle and it is just so fabulously feminine that it's called the fabulously feminine flounce. Uh, what else? There is sleeveless, of course. This is a completely transseasonal top, so you can wear it in every single season depending on the fabric that you use and depending on the sleeve that you use and of course your climate. Um, so there is sleeveless and then there's one more. Oh yes, the bishop sleeve. The bishop sleeve was a huge hit within the whole of fashion last year and that sort of beautifully feminine soft sleeve continues on into this year as well. So I thought it was the perfect sleeve to add to this and you can do a nice little regular cuff or you can do the extended cuff. Uh, what's next? Okay, the necklines. This is the high, let me just show you. This is the high scoop. So it's just a gentle scoop that's easy to wear, flattering. There's another uh, scoop which is lower than this one, so it comes down, you'll see them in the girls' photos. Um, and then lastly, there's a really lovely boat neck that is quite high and a little bit wider than these ones. So you have the choice of all of those necklines. Okay, let's have a little bit of a look at the tie. So it ties at the side. It's, it's not, like a lot of ties you see like a kind of here. This ties on your hip bone and it's just easy and relaxed and drapey. It's not, um, you know, it doesn't have to be precise. You can knot it any way you want. Um, every time I knot it, I seem to knot it a different way. And then I think, oh, I'll, I'll keep knotting like that because I like it. But it's totally up to you. Okay, lastly, uh, the shape. There's no side seams on this top. It's all one pattern. So there's just a centre back seam down the back. And you can see that it just drapes gently. There's a bit of draping down the bottom here. It sits at the hip bone. Um, there is a regular and a tall cutting line, so if you have a long body, um, then yes, yeah, certainly use the tall cutting line. And a couple of the girls actually chose, even though they don't have a long body, they chose to cut it longer, so it sat down a little bit longer. I think that um, at the hip is more flattering. We've talked about this before in Pattern Emporium Patterns. Um, it's definitely more flattering up at the hip because it elongates your legs. Okay, so let's have a chat about this fabric and the top I'm wearing now. Um, this is the most divinely soft um, rayon elastane from fabrics.com and it just drapes so beautifully. It's not one of those ones that hang really heavy. It just, it's probably one of the nicest, which coming from Tilio, um, they have such good quality fabrics. So that's this one paired with my snake print boots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through um, all the styles that I've made, which is pretty much all of them um, and then just show you how they go with other pattern important patterns how they can fit into your wardrobe whether you want to wear it for casual for weekend for date night totally up to you of course if you're looking for a more work oriented look then adding the new starstruck to the symphony skirt is just perfect so pop on your little work shoes and it just gives the perfect amount of drape and fitted and then feminine and it gives a beautiful balance and for those who prefer a basic black again the symphony skirt 
And lastly, for those that either need to wear pants to work or live in a colder climate, this top drapes beautifully over the urban wide leg pants. Pull it really lovely. It just gives that really nice balance. Living in Queensland, I don't wear as much black as I used to when I was living in Melbourne, but this uh, fabric is so soft. It's a merino wool from um, the fabric shop in Sydney. Um, I think there's one in Brisbane as well. Um, and it's just, it's got a little bit of um, elastane in it and it's so comfortable. Added to the urbans, there's that gorgeous little kind of fake jumpsuit look that we like. For those that like a plain top and a print bottom, this is such a cute little set. Again, it's a symphony skirt, so lovely and fitted. And then flared at the bottom. Like on a pair of boots or shoes. And you've got a great little easy to put on and just walk out the door outfit. And then again with the urban wide leg pants in a print this time. And then one of my favourites, the Friday Feels skirt, which is our free tube skirt with the merino wool. It just, just the sleekness, it just feels amazing. Like I feel so dressed up and all I've done is, like if this is essentially a t-shirt in a beautiful luxurious fabric with this gorgeous drape, I've put on a, a swimwear knit fabric and I feel a million dollars. And the last combo I thought I'd show you with this wool top is uh, the sachet shorts that I've extended into clots. So again, you just, you get that, the fitted through here, you get the drape at the top and then the drape at the bottom. And the, just the balance of it works really, really well. How about we switch it up with some weekend wear? This is the gorgeous little short sleeve. So you can see it's just lovely and easy. This is the boat neck and it is in a rayon um, jersey from Mood in the States. And it's just nice and easy and relaxed. With a pair of shorts, a little pair of slides. Um, and you might have noticed that my knot is on the other side. You can choose when you lay out your garment, um, which side you want your knot to go on. It's totally up to you. This is the long sleeve with a cuff and it's a single brush poly. So whether you wanted to wear a single brush poly to work on the weekend or out at night, it's gonna go with so many things. So I've teamed it with denim shorts here, obviously. Soft, easy to wear with the sachets for a little bit of fun. And of course, it's always gonna team nicely with a pair of jeans. This next one is a super soft poly knit and I wanted to show you what it looked like worn out. This is with the long slim sleeve. So if you wanted to, you could just wear it out and it comes up at the back. Or swap out the sleeve for something super feminine. This is the one I was telling you about. This is the flounce sleeve and it's the, look. <laughs> It's the prettiest flounce that we have ever done. Like you can see just how full it is and just beautifully soft and feminine <laughs> and we can still twirl. <laughs> this is a star strap top with the bishop sleeve. It's in a fabric that is a lot, has a lot more body than any of the other fabrics I've shown you. It's a merino wool. Uh, but the inside, it has a loopy effect, so it gives it a lot more structure. So I just wanted you to see when, you're, when your fabric does have less drape, then it still does work. Um, it is just a different look. So this is with the Free Spirit skirt. Okay, this is with the Symphony skirt, which I think makes a really lovely classic outfit, easy to wear to work and it is so warm, it's gorgeous. And again, with plain black, if that's your style. I have to show you with the sachets because the fabrics, the colors just look so beautiful and luxurious together. 
really gorgeous little transseasonal look for Queensland. And last but not least, we have the sleeveless version and we gained an assistant. So the sleeveless version um, translates just as well as all the other designs. So you can wear it on the weekend, out on a day date with your friends. You could even make it in the same fabric as your urban wide leg flares to create that fake jumpsuit look that we love so much. So let's go over the options and the features in the Starstruck pattern. So you have this beautifully draped body and it's designed for stretch knit fabrics, for four way stretch knit fabrics. Um, no side seam, it's just a centre back seam. You have the seven different options for the sleeve. So you have the long sleeve, the three quarter sleeve, the long sleeve with the cuff. Uh, you have the relaxed little short sleeve, like a weekend sleeve. Um, you have the beautifully feminine bishop sleeve with the short, regular or um, extended cuff. You have the sleeveless and then lastly you have that amazingly feminine um, full circle flounce. Now necklines, you have the high scoop, you have the low scoop and you have the boat neck. Now one thing I forgot to mention earlier on is um, you have two options on how you want to finish the neckline. So you have the banded, like I've got here, which is quite a uh, traditional pattern emporium um, finishing for necklines. And then you have, you can also do binding. So I've put both instructions in the tutorial and whichever you choose to do, um, it's totally up to you. Um, and last but not least, you have the option of a regular or a tall cutting length, depending on your um, style preference, um, but mostly depending on your height or your, your upper body length. So that's it. So that is it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've loved showing you. I love doing these videos. Um, so ask me anything you want and I will see you in the group. Thank you so much for watching.